doubt yourself too before it's too late. You have to doubt yourself too before it's too late. When you don't doubt yourself, you are capable of delusion. You are capable of oppression. You are capable of confusion. You are capable of prejudice. You are capable of all sorts of stuff without doubt. Doubt is one of the healthiest mental capacities or conditions that exists. A healthy modicum of doubt will save the day when one mistake, mistaken assumption, one mistaken conclusion that you don't wait for the world to confirm or wait for reflection to, con to confirm. When you fly by the seat of your pants and do not doubt what your mind is doing, it is basically too late. So, a lot of my commenters on, you on my YouTube videos have said things to the effect of, you're not schizophrenic, you're just different. Why do you think, why do you believe the psychiatrist that tells you you're suffering? Why do you believe the psychiatrist that tells you that you have a disease? You don't have a disease. What you saw is real. What you saw is meaningful. What you saw has something to say about reality. Now, not that I deny any of those things that uh, they said my experiences do mean. Not that I totally deny that that's relevant. It's just that I also have schizophrenia. I also have delusion. I also have experienced hallucinations. I also have reason to doubt some of the validity of many of my so-called schizophrenic experiences. There might be something to the idea that I am a very creative individual, that I have a big mind that moves quickly, that can understand what it wants to, what it needs to, in any way that it can. Like, I might have a very free mind that can go wherever I want it to. But that doesn't mean I'm not schizophrenic. Doesn't mean that in grade 12, when I was filling this journal with all sorts of confusing, jumbled up text, everything is right until it's wrong. Calculus and thought, but not much calculus of numbers anyway. When I was writing this stuff, when I was drawing these things, I told you to breathe. I had this problem, I still do sometimes, where it's hard to breathe. I don't pay consciously enough attention to my breath to continue breathing. I'm getting better at breathing <laughs> these days. I also have pain amplification syndrome, sort of related to my mother's fibromyalgia. Chronic pain, pain in my body, pain in my shoulders, pain in my neck, pain in my back, pain in my muscles, in my joints. Pain that makes my room stay this messy. Oh, you can't really see it good. <laughs> anyway. I showed this journal to my first psychiatrist when she uh, wanted to have evidence of uh, my psychological history 
before the time I was first hospitalized because as many of my commenters have been, she was wondering whether I was actually schizophrenic or whether I just had a sort of a twisty turny kind of experience that ambulance staff thought I needed to go to the psych ward for. That, but sometimes that might just be caused by drugs, by a bad stressful incident, just randomly it can happen. So I brought this journal to her, showed her the inside of it, just showed her it, flipped the pages, she took a look at it, she didn't read much of a single word, she didn't read much of anything. She just looked at it and saw, yes, that's confusion, that's busyness, that's creativity. And looking at that beside the other experiences, the other points of evidence, she was able to determine that I was schizophrenic. It wasn't news to me. I had already determined in the grade 12 year of high school, my final year of high school, that, yeah, I'm schizophrenic. I looked it up online. I looked all sorts of stuff up online. I was just exploring the internet, looking up all sorts of experiences, all sorts of... I was reading about spirituality. I was reading about Buddhism. I was reading about science, physics. I was reading about all those sorts of stuff, and I stumbled upon some stuff. But like, oh, schizophrenia is this, is A, is B, is C, is D. Oh, wait, me. I'm A, I'm B, I'm C, I'm D. Huh. Oh, that makes sense, too. A plus B plus C plus D is something totally different. Blah, 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 blah. Exploration, reading, reading, determining, determining, looking, looking, reflecting, reflecting. Days and weeks and years of reflecting on the nature of my own brain. And I go, I'm schizophrenic. That's what it is. That's what I am. That's what accounts for all this stuff, or at least describes all this stuff. The label schizophrenia points to meanings. I embody those meanings. It's not just some random diagnosis. It's not just some random psychiatric spell of judgment, of oppression. That's not all that consists in the term schizophrenia. It actually applies, and even self applies, in my own judgment. So I don't know what I can say to people that they'll actually believe I'm schizophrenic. They just want to not doubt anything that they believe. It's your own reality tunnel that says, psychiatry is wrong, psychiatry is oppressive. No one's schizophrenic. It's just a label. That doesn't make sense. What about tall, short? It doesn't make sense. Everybody's the same height, you know? <laughs> like, what? Doubt yourself, too, before it's too late. If you don't doubt yourself, it will lead to prejudice. It will lead to oppression. It will lead to warfare. It'll lead to segregation. It'll lead to institutionalization that is unnecessary. If you don't doubt yourself before it's too late.